So why do I think Ruby and Rails is still a, has a great future and is a great skill and framework to learn in the 2020s? This is 2021 when I'm recording this video. I started using Ruby in, in 2015. Um, in that time, since 2015, JavaScript has kind of taken over the world. Uh, the prolifer proliferation of, of frameworks uh, JavaScript has really uh, grown and evolved as a language, and I do use JavaScript, uh, and, and there are times where it's uh, necessary, especially if you're doing reactive, kind of reactive front-end event-driven stuff in the browser. But Ruby on Rails, I think there's never been a better time to, to learn it uh, for a few reasons. For one, it still makes the trade-offs that I want to make. So the most important resource you have are your people and their time. And Ruby on Rails, I think, is still... The trade-offs it makes are for prog programmer happiness and productivity. And I think that you you'll you will be rewarded rewarded and have been rewarded if you make those trade-offs. So uh, Rails especially is built around an ecosystem of being able to respond to change. It's got a, a good culture of writing tests, being able to adapt to change, uh, designing things in a way that you can uh, migrate your database easily without having to be a, a full-fledged uh, database administrator. You can uh, make uh, add new fields, add new items to your views uh, very easily. You can uh, add new routes and interaction. Uh, and as long as you kind of stick to the, the Rails conventions, you will wind up providing better value in less time than any other um, framework that's out there. Uh, as soon as something I'm not married ideologically to Rails. As soon as something comes out that makes the trade-offs that I want to make better than Rails makes it, I will um, I'll leave Rails uh, and, and start pursuing that. Uh, but for, for its money, Rails is really good. There, there's Ruby Gems is a a great ecosystem of stuff. So you 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 can build on Open source, open source software that other people have already written get from zero to production um, uh, with a robust, well-written application uh, fairly quickly, and um, and it, it it performs better than than it did sure, sure did in twenty fifteen when I was using Rails four and Ruby like two point two. Uh, Ruby three is much faster than Ruby two point two. Uh, it has never been uh, Rail JavaScript interaction with Rails, especially if you look forward to Rails seven uh, and, and some of the stuff that uh, DHH has been doing for uh, f for that. And, uh, check out the uh, the uh, video he demo he just did a couple weeks ago on uh, kind of the the module mapping that Rails will have. So you won't even need a uh, JavaScript uh, transpiler uh, like you did in Rails 6. Um, it, it, if you're a JavaScript developer, Rails is going to be great for you because it's going to be kind of easier to use um, JavaScript and focus on the stuff you want to do with JavaScript to provide value rather than trying to focus on all the uh, chasing down all of the, um, the transpiling and uh, dependencies and all all that stuff. So I'm still excited about Ruby on Rails. I'm still going to be uh, developing projects in it again until something comes along that does what um, what Rails does better than than Rails. So um, you can I, I think a lot of people 
especially in the past, have chased performance uh, in execution of trying to find your uh, your best trans- transactions per second or uh, scalability, all those things in a perfect world when you never live in a perfect world. The thing that you need the most is the ability to change and adapt. Uh, and Rails, I think, does that better than anybody. So uh, you're not going to build the perfect application top down uh, like this, the superior architect, even if you did, something will change external to you and it will be outdated within a week. So you need to build With that in mind, build Agile, Um, get something that you can prototype and iterate on uh, in the event that you need to scale something to Facebook scale or something like that. Um, By that, by the time you've got something uh, where that type of thing is, um, is a problem for you, it's, it would be a, a good problem for for you to have and it means that you you did well and you got to where you were by using something that allows you to prototype and iterate quickly um i'm kind of a strategic guy in terms of how i i look at problems so that like if you look at my clifton strength finder um like eight out of my top 10 strengths are strategic and the more i get older and the more i mature The more I realized that one of the most important strategies is knowing the value of tactics and iteration that it's you will in a year's time, you will have a far better product if you uh, release something that is uh, baby step at a time, get feedback, decide, all right, this doesn't work, We'll, we'll, we'll abandon it. Uh, add in, solve the problem a different way, get feedback from your users um, and your stakeholders, continue iterating, continue stopping, f- figuring out how you can get better, uh, learn what, what, what went well, what didn't go well, uh, adapt and change. Uh, you, you could have the same, same application and you, you think you know all the answers, you spend a year or longer um, building that perfect application and you've water failed the the stakeholders uh decide that this this isn't what i asked for i i'm i'm glad that you've solved the problem in the most genius manner that you could but this doesn't help me this doesn't provide value to me uh and you're far better getting that feedback on week three than you are on week 53 uh, and I think, again, Rails does that, uh, ma- makes those trade-offs and, and works well with, uh, with an agile, rapid prototyping um, environment better than, better than anything out there. And it's going to continue uh, providing value in that way. Um, and if, if you... If you start down it, there, there, there'll be um, there'll be continued improvements in uh, Ruby's performance. There'll be continued improvements in uh, in features in Rails, and you'll because you're dealing with and uh, developing with this open source uh, framework. Every time somebody else makes something better, you have the opportunity to make your own. Um, your own application better. So for my money, and until something comes along that does all these things I just mentioned better, uh, Rails is still going to be my favorite. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.